Hey what's up guys Rajat from VFX World welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing absolutely fine in this video i'll talk about this amazing photorealistic render process so without wasting any more further time let's get started So guys right now as you can see this software is called Quixel Mixer software for the very first time in my channel VFX world and in this software you can do a lot of stuffs okay so first of all when you open this software for the very first time you can exactly see this interface and the plus point of this software is it's completely free you can go and download the link is in description box below okay so firstly you have to create a wet mud effect so this is already pre installed here this is a wet mud just select this one and press open it will take some time based on your system and then it will open okay so here it is completely imported successfully and as you can see this looks super realistic now let me tell you something about in the software that this software as you can see completely free but if you really want a detailed tutorial for this software comment down below on this video comment section then i'll definitely create a complete detailed video on this and trust me this software can blow your mind okay so first of all for this tutorial you need to know very simple steps here basically this is a complete a uh, normal texture by using displacement map you can exactly see some cool details there with some reflections of waters and all so basically you have to export this textures from here so you can use lot of stuff here for this tutorial i'm just going to this layers panel so these other layers are actually used for this software you can exactly change it from this performance one display and setups and all just select any one like select this mud if you want to really increase the threshold value you can exactly increase it it will take some time for buffer and then it will automatically increase and decrease you can increase this one as well so based on your preference you can exactly do lot of changes on this kind of texture so just go to this export button where you can exactly find the maps here this is a albedo map exactly called a diffuse map for this software they call this as albedo then this is a roughness the normal map and then the displacement map if you just click here and expand this you can exactly see the formats are in png I prefer to make it in open exr or exr because the all the details will come more crisp and clear but uh, for this you can exactly do the displacement one as in exr and rest of the part as in png but it's completely up to you what you exactly prefer after that you can change the surface name like for this this is a wet mud and then export location you can prefer any one from your preferable location and after that just simply press export so after exporting all those maps you can use any 3d software like after effects by using element 3d you can use cinema 4d or else or you can use like max or maya but in this case i am using max and i am using vray render engine so let's jump into 3ds max okay so right now we are in 3ds max version 2021 and i'll show you the textures here so this is albedo map this is a displacement map in png this is a normal map this is a roughness map and this is a displacement map in open exr okay so first of all uh, just just press alt w for full screen and then we are taking a normal plane here just drag and drop it here like this and let's change the length value to let's take around 140 by 140 let's make it to complete square and no need to increase some segments on all because we are using displacement map here so after that just go to this uh, material palette here and select any one from here select this plane and apply a vrm normal material here just press yes to set all this in vrm settings and this is successfully applied so we have to apply all those maps in this plane here so just click this one and first of all this is the diffuse albedo map just drag and drop on this diffuse one and this is applied so you can see this is a normal diffuse map is completely applied successfully just press g on your keyboard to hide all those grids and all now you have to go down here you can find this one called brdf just change from use glossiness to use roughness because we are using roughness for this kind of renders now go to this map one and you can find this many options just you have to put all this maps on this map option just select this normal map and apply to this bump one just increase the bump value to let's take around 100% and now for the displace one you can drag and drop this open exr displace one just release it on here so right now is applied successfully and as you can see this is already started displacement and all now we are taking this roughness and apply on this roughness one here let's go back here and i'm just increasing a reflection value a little bit here something like that and this is it now you have to apply a very good sunlight or you can use a like light 
light setups and all just click this light option from V-Ray I'm taking a V-Ray normal dome light select a map I'm taking a HDRI map now for the settings option I'm just click this settings panel and from here go to V-Ray I'm taking this from next to GPU next because the render will increase in a very fastest way and then select the V-Ray from progressive change it to in bucket and let's make a set RPR render so this is the very first render coming from this much setup so we have to decrease the displacement map ratio so just go back here on this material and then go down and decrease the displacement one let's take around 35 percent because this is too much displays now this is completely fine and now we have to increase some lights colors and all so just select a normal camera so I'm making this kind of type like this just zooming it something like that and then simply press ctrl c here so we have successfully applied our camera now we have to go inside of this camera settings and then we have to change some light setups as well so just decrease the aperture value from 1.8 and then you have to go to this depth of field just turn it on you can see the depth of field is already started here and now you have to install this exposure here go to this manual and now see it started glowing make it 200 in the ISO and you can increase it to let's take around 200 and this is very good now you can just change the target distance to something here a little bit closer okay so all the settings are successfully done but I need to change some rotations on this kind of uh, material so just rotate in a horizontal level so that you can exactly see the light changes on this kind of uh, material so let's change it on this direction now you can see exactly it's looking super realistic coming like that and the light rays are looking amazing okay so this is it and if you render it completely in high definitions as well the renders quality should be look like this so guys, I hope you really enjoyed this amazing tutorial from Quixel Mixer and 3ds Max with using V-Ray, this amazing photorealistic textures and all. So if you really love this video tutorial, then don't forget to share as much as you can on your friend circle, WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, anywhere. And whenever you do any work, please tag me on Instagram, Facebook. So guys, see you in my next video with some more amazing content. But before that, don't forget to follow us on our social media handles like Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn and Twitter. All links in the description box below. See you next time. Have fun. Stay home. Bye-bye. Thank you.